Hey, hello and welcome to this week's Fiberific Live Craft and Chat. I have changed quite literally everything, okay? So I it, it is a flying by the seats. I am testing so many new things. So please let me know if you can hear me. Let me know if you can see me. All of those things. I've got a new chat that I can look at this morning. Um, there we go. We can add that. Sue Ellen says morning all. An ambitious title for days live craft and chat so i mean it is pretty ambitious mosaic blanket with math rocks and fun that's a long list of promises right uh so a good morning a good morning a good morning to all so i'm very quiet am i i'm very quiet all right let me just see what i can do let me know if that made a difference and i'll just i'll bring that a little closer thank you for letting me know um, I'm also on there. I'm fine. Okay. So I did, I, I, I moved a lot of, I moved a lot of my tech around and I bumped all the dials on my audio interface. Um, how is that? Is that a bit better? Uh, had to get the volume up from 15 to 30. All right. Let's see how we go. I've just given a good bump up. Liking the haircut. Thank you, Kathy. I appreciate that. I appreciate that a lot. Uh, it's a bit louder now. Okay. Alrighty. I finally got it. I'm not sure what you got, but okie dokie. Now, I can't increase that volume anymore there. That's better. Okay. I'll have to have a play with that because I can't actually... Can I turn... I'd, no, I can't turn it up anymore on my end at all. Ooh. Interesting interesting okay well um if you can if you've able to bump the volume up on your end enough that is awesome uh let me know if if that is not doable sound is good slightly better okay Alrighty. i just don't want to um go into like there's settings on my end where it's like red which will mean that's distorted so i don't want to do that okay also, I've been talking a bit quiet, so maybe I'm just talking quietly. That could be it. I'm trying to contain the energy, okay? That has been, like, it has been so, so, so crazy here, trying all these different new things. There's so many things that I've brought in for this stream, which has meant we're using different streaming software. Um, so, yeah, that's a big thing. That's a big thing. Now, uh, housekeeping, before we get started with the Math Rocks Crochet Blanket. Today is the third Thursday of the month, which means it is Caffeinated Crafters. So if you are local to the Brisbane area and you want to come and hang out and do some craft, then jump in your car or get on a bus or however it is that you would get to the Hyperdome at Logan. The coffee club there six, from 6pm 6 is where we'll be meeting up. So you can go and do that. Okay, uh, I don't think I can increase. I see the, I can see the audio problem for sure, um, but I can't seem to fix it. So, yeah, that's fun. Okay, and my microphone is covering the chat. So I'll bring the chat up. All right. Kathy, oh, you know, one thing I love, one thing I love about this new software is it brings in the member chats. Oh, my God. Okay, Kathy is celebrating 16 months of membership. Have fun with your mosaic blanket. Thank you, Kathy. Thank you. I know you've already made this blanket and you did it very random and you did it with a bright color. Your blanket was the inspiration for me to do this. Um, except I know me and I know that I wouldn't be able to do it randomly. I'd end up with some sort of pattern in my brain of the colors, thinking it's random, but it's not random. Good morning, Megan, how are you going? Good morning, Game of Widows. Uh, how are you? So yeah, so um, yeah, I've had to change a lot of stuff, okay guys, so please bear with me. If something is different, if something is off, please let me know. You guys are awesome and you make sure that I get, you know, I learn all the things. And I uh, get better at what I'm doing. Okay. All right. So, I mean, we're all here for one reason, right? We're here to make a new blanket. So let's let's jump in. Let's jump in. Okay. Oh, can I? I've just got to check something. Hey, Christina. Excellent. 
Cool, because I, I changed screens and the comment that was on the screen didn't come with. So it's good to see you here, Christina. Welcome to the chat. Lindsay Chateau. I thought I missed you all again, but we had a time change. Fantastic. That's right. Your clocks wound forward an hour, I think. Or back. I don't, I, don't, I don't even know. I can't. We don't do daylight savings where I live. So everybody around me changes their clocks. I don't. Hello, Jody. Welcome to the chat. Good to see you in here. Um, Francis is off to hang out washing. Okie dokie, Francis. That is awesome. Okay, that's, there's a button there to remove from chat. Okay, so um, a quick, quick, quick rundown of, of the things that I'll need. So I have my pattern, bricks and mortar from Crochet with Claire. The link is in the description. I'm sure the moderators could throw that in around um, if, uh, if you need that. Now, uh, Claire has also given us a 40% off discount. So if you want to buy it, then you can get it for 40% off and um, using the code FIBRIFIC. <clears throat> Excuse me. All of that is listed in the description below. Okay. So now the other thing I'm using is I'm using a math rock. I'm using an eight-sided dice. Uh, you, may, you can just use my dice numbers that I roll unless you you know get ahead of me or whatever then you can get your own dice i bought um a mixed pack from the amazing people over at i actually bought three mixed packs truth be told look boom 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 um i bought um because i couldn't choose okay so i bought mixed packs um from the amazing people over at natural 20 um the link for them is in the description as well it's a little etsy seller in australia and their, their dice are amazing and now i'm like i want an entire set of this I want an entire set of this. I want an entire set of this purple. And this 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 D20 in here. I want an entire set of that. That's way too many dice for any one person to have who doesn't play, you know, D D games often enough. I probably already got way too many sets of dice for a person who doesn't play often enough. Anyway, so so because I have eight colours or I, I want to have eight choices, I've chosen the eight-sided dice. If you have the stock standard uh, six-sided dice. You can roll two together and give yourself some extra, um, you know, options there. Um, and, and you'll have to work out which ones are going to double up how and where. But I didn't want to do that. So I went with the eight. Um, I'm using a four and a half mil hook. Um, I found that this this yarn that I'm using, which is the um, beautiful Dirty DK by Maker Yarns, um, I'm absolutely loving it's, it's it is this hot pink it's not whatever this color is down here that's terrifying I'll have to have a play with that um, so uh, the dirty DK yarns are a thick DK um, so I've actually had to go up a hook size I normally need a three and a half mil for an eight ply but I have needed the four and a half mil for today's um, because also I'm doing mosaic which is a dentist stitch so I didn't want cardboard, okay? I wanted something squishy and soft. So I've got my Dirty DK here, um, and it, you can see I had some fun with pulling out yarn bath middles. I am not the person to talk to about getting tidy middles. It does not happen. I like to work from the middle of the ball. This is about what happens 95% of the time. But look at this one. This one here, total freak show. It worked. I don't even know why. I did exactly, oh, get off me. Okay, you're a pretty color. You'll come out. Uh, I, d I don't know. I, I, I can't answer why. Um, there we go. I just killed that one. Um, I can't answer why that one worked and the others didn't. I don't know. It just did. So um, so that is that. Is that. Um, Kathy has bought some decaf. Kathy, I am so glad because I always feel guilty. Like we talk about coffee and, and it's so late for you that coffee is not a good idea. So I'm so happy that you're able to grab yourself some decaf. Um, okay, so I also have some stitch markers, which I'll show you what I'm going to use those for. And I have some snippers. Um, or just scissors, you know, scissors, whatever. Your favorite scissors. Okay, now... There are two ways that we can cast on this blanket, okay? So there is the uh, foundation single crochet or is there there is the chains and then crochet back across the chains. I'm old school. I've never been able to do that foundation single crochet properly. Like I'll be able to do a few stitches and I'll look fantastic and then I'll screw something up and then it'll be like a dog's breakfast. So I'm just going the stock standard crochet. Now, 
I'm aiming for a large-ish throw rug. So I'm thinking single bed width, but shorter than a single bed, okay? So my blanket, like I've got math here. I've got math, I made math. Let me just bring out my math so I can, okay. So my goal with the math I've done is 127 centimeters, 130-ish, um, by 160 centimeters. Now I don't know what that is in, um, in, in inches. I didn't convert it. And I meant to, and then I forgot, and I didn't. There we go. Um, so I don't know what that is in inches, so somebody can throw that into the chat. Now, I've based all my math redos off that. Now, I'm going to be honest with you. I'm not 100% confident with my math redos. Those of you that have been around here for a while understand I scrub the math redos all the time when it comes to blankets. So I've got my little scale, so I'm going to be able to just double check some of the measurements that I took because I did a swatch and I measured it and, and weighed it and I, you know, worked it all out. But I'm going to be having a guess with the actual proper lengths, not just mathing it out, okay? Because, you know, me, math's bad, right? Um, that's quite glary there, so I won't leave that there. That's less glary there. That's a good spot. Okay, good morning, Deb D. Welcome to the chat. Um... Uh, Jody says, I've heard that if you use center pull, it will distort your stitches because of the way it is unwound. It adds more twist. Technically, it can do, but this is a really softly spun yarn. So, you know, adding a little bit of extra twist is not going to kill it. Also, it depends um, what you're doing. So if you're crocheting left or right handed will make a difference. If you're knitting, whether you're knitting um, uh, continental or uh, English knitting, um, all of these things make a difference. So for some people, they'll never notice the difference. Some people will notice a difference and you need to work with what works for you. So if you're finding that it's creating extra twist and it's being a butt face to you, then try it the other way. If you're not noticing anything or you're happy with your finished products, then keep doing what you're doing. We, we don't have craft police here. Um, I, I do have opinions, but uh, no craft police. Okay, let me let me there's okay there we go okay in my cup I just have honey and hot water we've got a lot of talking to do today in my other cup this one is just a stock standard water water um what have you got in your cups while I get started just before we get started here the pattern says multiples of eight plus five I am adding two extra stitches, an extra single crochet at the beginning and an extra single crochet at the end. When I did my mug rug, when I did the border, I had to encapsulate the first stitches into the border. It bugs me. It may not bug you. So I'm just going to add in the extra stitches. It may make no difference to you whatsoever. You may not care. Um, you do you. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to add in some extra stitches. So because I have to chain 207 stitches and talk to you guys and, you know, be human, um, I, I'm going to screw that up. So I just grab some stitch markers and sort of every 20 or so I will add in a stitch marker just so I know how many-ish I've got. Okay, so just bear with me while I get through this. And don't be counting in the chat because it's mean. I lost count already. Let me just check. I think that's 20. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 20. Okay, you guys are lucky. You're lucky. And the reality is, if you end up with one or two extras at the end, you can always, you know, sneaky pull them out. It's just if you end up with a ton extra, it's painful. What's your go-to way of keeping track of your chains? So let me know in the chat. 
Do you have a specific way that you keep track of your chains? Or do you just go hard and then count them all at the end? I my It's nearly like if I do that, it's nearly like they blur together and I struggle to see them, which is so weird. Angela does similar to me, just sort of at an intermittent amount, just add in a chain. If I'm not on a live, I'll do it as 50. Um, but if it's, if it's um, like, like if I'm just in the lounge room or something, but while I'm on a live, I'll need to keep track of it every now and again. Um, fr Friday Ketchup does the crochet in the round. Is that the thing where you pick up the loop and then sort of grab your next amounts and then go from there like that's hard to describe isn't it um yeah i can't describe it but i i, I think i know the one you mean um I, molly i think your comments in the wrong place um dolores uses regular stitch markers at regular intervals i count in fives and make sure there's silence <laughs> yep Oh, Holly, I'm so sorry. I'll try not to count out loud again because I know we're all counting. I count and then count again because I never learn. But if you put some extra change in, you can always pull them out after the first row. Absolutely, you can. Yep. Okay, let me just... It's not as easy to remove things from the broadcast as it used to be. Um... That's okay, Molly. I totally do the same thing all the time. I'll be in like a, a Zoom call and DMing someone at the same time and end up putting the DM into the Zoom chat or whatever. So, you know, it's always, it's fun and games. It's fun and games when we're multitasking. Get out of the packaging. There we go. Um, Kathy has s'mores. Oh, come on, Kathy. I'm trying to be good here. Um, stitch markers every 10 or so for Allison. Excellent. You guys see that yarn bath creeping over to me? Uh, I just learned that trick from one of Claire's videos on how to remove chains at the end of the first row. Yeah, it's a super handy skill. Um, where are we at? 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120. We're doing okay. We're doing okay. Some people have their chaining down so pat that they're so uniform that they can actually guess how many chains they've done based on the length. I'm like, dude, new yarn, different hook. Doesn't that change everything? Apparently, no. Um, I was count up to eight and then I put in the... Th when I did three repeats, I put in the stitch mark. Okay. Friday Ketchup is almost up to part three of her... Crossaster, Crossaster by uh, Yannicka York Carter. I don't know what that is. I probably said it wrong, um, but that is awesome, and I'm very happy that you have um, that you're doing well with the project. Angel had a massive yarn bath today that I had to throw away because of the type of yarn. Oh no. Okay, like 
why are my stitch markers closed? I can't open them one-handed. I can close them one-handed. Here comes the yarn bob. It's crept right up now, hasn't it? Come on, dude. Click. There we go. Let's deal with this. What is your problem? Why are you doing this? We'll be at the middle of the ball before we know it. Because we're going to do our first row of single crochets in the same colour. Actually, it might be double single. I should probably read the pattern before I assume. Oh yeah, it'll be single crochets. Okay, we've done the 200. Now I'm going to um, just do the seven. And because I'm me, I'm going to do two extras. Just in case I've screwed up somewhere, they're like insurance extras. Um, that's usually two's never enough, but you know, two's better than none. Okay, uh, Molly says, "I'm going to, I'm going to do this blanket, but I'll have to catch up later tonight as I'm working." 100% understand that. Sal has popped in the link for uh, for the natural twenty dice. Thank you, Sally. Love their dice. It's amazing. That's right. That's exactly right. Yep. Um, so I have chained 207 plus insurance change. So, you know, we'll see how that goes. Um, you guys are getting to see the inside. Like I just about never start a project on camera because I screw it up so much that I don't like people to see how much I screw things up. So we are uh, watching Chantel screw up all the things. So, our instructiones. All right, we do have to work back. Okay, so we just need to single crochet into all of the chains. So I'll leave my stitch markers in. And then we'll do a count. Oh, come on, yarn buff. Seriously, dude. We're going to get to you. The single crochet row should use up a lot of this. Oh, actually, it won't because... Oh, yeah, because I did my swatch with this yarn and then just pulled it out. Thank you for all the links that you're popping in, Sally. So the Maker Yarn is is the, what I'm using right now, which is the, speci uh, the Dirty DK. Um, wow. Make sure you watch when you're crocheting, Chantel. You just legit split that yarn. All right, moving over. There we go. This yarn is like crocheting like soft pillows. It's got so much squish, it's not funny. It's so squishy. Um... I don't know how to describe it any other, using any other word than squish. Sorry if you don't like that word. But this yarn has got serious squish factor. Um, I'm hoping we'll get to a dice roll today. But we do need to do the next row in the same colour. Um, so I'm trying, to, I'm trying to work quickly. I'm trying to work quickly because this is our main colour. We're using this pink as our main colour. Um... The link for the pattern took you to weird websites. Let's have a look. Um, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna click the link and just double check what happens. Okay, no, it went straight to the website for me. Um, okay. Yeah, I went straight to the website. The other option is to go through Claire's... Um, 
Yeah, I'm. I'm actually hearing a few people saying that their um their Norton and things like that aren't letting us access Claire's patterns. I don't understand why. It's there's nothing dodgy about the website at all. Um. Oh, it seems to be linked to closing that subscribe button. Yeah, I do notice that when I close the subscribe, when I close that major first screen. But yeah, I it went through fine for me. Um. I'm not sure what the other alternatives are because that's the direct link to the pattern. You could just try going to crochet with Claire and go to the paid patterns and, and manually find your way there. Um, I think that would work. This yarn buff is going to be the end of me. The link worked for Chintamani. Kathy, Kathy did have the same thing happen to her. Yeah. Um, Angela said it was fine for me, but she used her phone. Yeah, I think it's going to vary depending on each person's setup. Um, yeah, the pop-up, I think I get, I have a problem with. The pop-up's a full screen pop-up, so you've got to make sure you actually click the X to get rid of it. Oh, there's no chat post in the fun zone. Um, Sal, would you mind throwing that in? I totally forgot to check. Um... How many stitches did I do for my swatch? I mean, you're assuming I counted. I didn't count. I just kind of went multiples. I'm, I can run out and grab my swatch if you like, and we can have a quick look. I'll, yeah, I'll do that. Give me a second. Otherwise, I'm going to stab this yarn. I have no b right back screens, so I'll be back. Louie, no barking. Don't take over the stream. Oh, you didn't take over the stream, Louie. Good dog. Okay. All right. So, you know what? Funny story. When I first put this on the couch, um, my husband was like, oh, that's a bit silly. Ra ra ra. Uh, now he's like, oh, do you reckon you could make another one? <laughs> okay. So, I did one, two, three. Uh, so, repeats of eight. So, one, two, three, four, five. And a half, is that, hang on a second, I can't count. One, two, three, four, five repeats plus an extra four stitches. I don't know why I did that. Oh, because it says eight plus four? Possibly, possibly could be why. Um, but I, yeah, I did the eight repeats. So that was my test swatch. Um keep going here oh no I've got to do this first look so annoying is this hands down shot too bright for you guys or is it okay or is it just when the big ball of pink comes on because this pink is like hardcore pink it is it is eye melting amazing pink of pinkness I don't know what I've done here I just got to get through because we will cut the end off at some stage. So it's not like I have to get through the entire ball dealing with this. But I have done something to make this many knots this angry at me. Um, oh, thank you, Sally. I appreciate that. I just, I totally forgot. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to bring... See if that helps or not. It may make no difference. Yay, it made some difference. Okay, let's keep crocheting. Let's keep crocheting. Alrighty, let me look in the chat because I can read the chat while I do this bit. Uh, link's been shared to the fun zone. Um, such an awesome table covering. Thank you. It is just a giant mouse pad that I've picked up from Amazon. 
it's only marginally bigger than what you see so it's that thick wetsuit fabric love it so good for stuff so good for all the things Lisby's in the chat hello Lisby welcome to the chat um, uh, I just found some yarn without leaving the house Woot! gotta love that uh, it's a full weight not a DK I think a five mil should work yeah well this is like okay so this dirty DK is called a DK but it has the same meterage as Red Heart Super Saver which is most decidedly a size four so you just need to work out what works for you now I do usually go down a hook size so DK which recommends a four mil hook I need normally need a three and a half um, whereas this dirty DK I would hazard a guess that for tight crocheters a five would be the way to go I'm a looser crocheter so I've gone the four and a half um, um, Jody says I love it I'm a bit tired of the fake wooden table look look I can kind of understand the wooden table look I think it's nice but at the same token, I'm with you. You know, I like a bit of colour. I also like that this is a bit soft. So when I lean on it, it's a bit softer than a table edge. Um, but I think we all have to have our own, our own personality, our own aesthetic and go from there. Now, if you um, are new here in the chat, you will notice that there are people with green names. Those green name people are our channel members. They get some bonuses and some perks for being channel members. And you can find out more about what you, um, how that works by clicking the join button. If you're on your laptop, it may not work if you're on your phone. Um, and also we have a Fiberific Fun Zone, which is a free Facebook group that anyone can go and join. You have to answer the very, very tricky questions on the way in. They're very difficult very difficult things like do you like yarn very very harsh questions it has to make you sit down and think about yourself and have a long hard look at your life um, it's mostly just to keep out scammers otherwise we'd keep it open but um, but yeah so if you uh, if you want to join in over there you can share your photos of of your blanket we're going to have a thread um, which I have not created yet but where we can all post our updates of our um, our math rocks blanket which we have done no math rocking as yet but we have to do our setups we've got to get everything set up just right otherwise we'll suffer for it later you guys know the drill so we i'm nearly at the end of this and then i'm going to go back and you're going to have to bear with me because i am going to count all my stitches just to have a double check that i've got the right number before i go on to the third row with the actual repeats because otherwise it will be too hard to fix it if I wait that bit longer so I don't want to make it harder on myself um, and if you weren't here at the start of the stream um, today is the third Thursday of the month here in Australia if you are local to Brisbane you can come and hang out and meet up with us at the coffee club at the Hyperdome from 6 p.m. onwards we tend to have a bit of dinner have a coffee do some craft hang out so you can you know enjoy don't enjoy your call oh sally excellent point don't forget the thumbs up and if you are in a crochet group or you know <coughs> excuse me know people that would think that you think might enjoy this task or this project that we're working on while i'm using a bricks and mortar crochet blanket you can totally use any striped blanket. So it doesn't have to be crochet. It could totally be knitting. It could be weaving. It could be anything. Although if you're weaving, you might want to, you know, you, you, you get bored waiting for my dice rolls. Because um, weaving is way faster. How did I get up to the yarn buff again so fast? Oh, that was dumb. I just p totally pulled out the stitches. Welcome to Dumbness, where Chantel is the president. Okay. We might need to...
Alrighty, let's just... I would say that in my moving around of the yarn, when it was all yarn bathed up, I got the end all tangled before I started working on it. Like a noob. Don't do this to yourselves, people. If you're working out of the, your, your yarn buff, make sure that you've got yourself sorted before you start crocheting. And you know what? I looked at it this morning and went, should I roll this? I went, no, I don't need to do that. Angela, thank you. We hit 600, uh, 6,000 subscribers over the weekend. So chuffed. I'm so chuffed. Um, as some of you know, um, I have a goal for the channel. It's, a, it's not a huge goal. It's not like hundreds of thousands or anything. Never has been. Um, I'd love to hit 10. And 6 is just like, it's like a smash. It's like, ha, we are well over halfway there. So that is, that is enormous. Um, Megan, 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 it is a huge yarn bath. But what, what the problem is, is I did um, a test swatch about this big, right? So it was about this long, but it was about this big all in the pink so and then I just pulled it out so this was not actually yarn buff out of the ball this was me making a mess so we can't we can't blame the, the ball for this one it is it is on me this one um yeah in hindsight I should have rolled it up mm -hmm. yeah absolutely <laughs> um oh and Leanne did say it. oh thank you I didn't see that there Leanne Thank you so much for, for sharing that as well. I very much appreciate it. Um, so many of us love our yarn crafts and need us a safe, fun place where we can chat yarn and not have judgment and just have a good time. Now, it's not to say this is like a, a total judgment-free zone, but, you know, because I'm, I'm a judge of judgmental pants. I'm not going to lie. I have, I have my own beliefs and my own, my own stuff. And this is my house. So, you know, but in saying that, I tend to, like when it comes to yarn stuff, it's yarn stuff. We all have our own preferences when it comes to the yarn stuff. It's just the rest of the stuff I may, may pull people in on. But yarn stuff is different. It's, there we go. It's, um, it's yarn. It's what actually brings us all together. Uh... Yeah, yeah. Uh, what could possibly go wrong? <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely what could possibly go wrong? Well, this. This is what could go wrong. You could be live on the internet and have to deal with yarn buff. And, you know, it's, it's, it's not embarrassing or anything, but it's just time consuming. And, and I need to get to that first roll today because, you know, I made some fun stuff to go at the rolls. So... Oh, speaking of which, there we go. If anyone's wondering, this is the colour that we're working with right now. This is our main colour. It's called Flamingo. It's a gorgeous hot pink. Um, loving it. I was originally going to be using white as my main colour. And I was a bit like, oh, yeah, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. And then, but, you know, the reality is I don't like working with white yarn. Um, and then I saw the beautiful blanket that Kathy put into the fun zone and her main color was this gorgeous purple. So I was just like, oh my gosh, I don't have to use a neutral. Of course I don't have to use a neutral. Holy dooly. So I was like, oh, which one of these colors? Because these um, colors are so vibrant and beautiful that it was actually tough call as to which one I would use as my main color because they've got a purple too and they've got a beautiful like all the colors that I've chosen to work with are gorgeous and you guys who've been around know pink's not it's not up there as one of my favorite colors um but it's going to look amazing in amongst all of these other colors I think I hope so yeah so how's everyone going? Is everybody crocheting along or have we got some people working from like watching from work or what is the go? And I will warn you when I start counting so that um, you can either mute me or whatever if you're counting because I totally get it that um, 
that, you know, multiple counting doesn't work, which is why my family taught me whenever they're counting and run up and start count, just throwing random numbers. It's like there's a, it's like there's a bat signal that goes over my head, like she's counting. And my husband and daughter just run at me and just start yelling random numbers right in my face. And then they, they just walk off giggling. That's, that's, they're terrible. They're, they're not good craft friends. Um, they think they're hilarious. So, you know. So Ellen's watching from work. Francis is spinning today. Andrew is working on a hooded scarf for a friend. Oh, oh, actually, Angela, I was thinking about you yesterday. There is a new feature on, on YouTube. Um, which I've not had access to because I don't have um, a iOS phone, like a, an Apple phone. And as you guys know, I, I do, um, I also do a lot of technical stuff with YouTube as well, teaching people live streaming and all that kind of stuff. Um, so I try and keep on top of all of this cool stuff. They have rolled it out to include Android users. So now when one of you are catching the replay and you comment, I can do... I reply back as a short. Now, I won't always because I don't want to inundate people, but if you've got like a, a question or something like that, I will like hit that up with a short. So that will be like, I'm really excited. I gave it a little test run yesterday um, just to double check that they weren't lying to me and it worked and I was so excited. Um, gave, uh, I'm just scrolling back in the chat. Megan's watching from work. Oh no, Holly says her count is off. Oh, so I'm working from home, but listening in and stealing glances. That's okay. Uh, still working on my Stephen West ex exploration station from 2014. Did you start that in 2014 or have you just started it recently? Um, that never happens in the chat ever? No, it doesn't. That's why I'm, I'm going to like warn people. Oh my gosh, when somebody thumbs up. I get a little animated graphic on my screen. I know you guys don't see it, but I got a little animated graphic. Somebody thumbs up the chat. That is so cool. Anyway, sorry. Very excited. New software. I'm waiting with new software. Um, I'm blocking my finished hand spun top. Gorgeous. Oh, somebody did it again. Now that you know I can see it straight away, you're just like, woohoo. Um, watching from my couch. My birthday was Monday and we changed the clocks an hour on Sunday. So it's... Oh, it's nearly 11 o'clock for you. Ouch. Ouch. Sorry. Oh, you did. You started last week. Okay. That makes more sense. Um, uh, I should be doing an assignment, but I'm catching up and washing while listening instead. I mean, I don't know what to say about that. Um, yeah. I mean, I could be like, you really need to work on your assignment, put on my mum hat. But I also understand that washing never stops. Um, I'm crocheting some quick items for the local hospital. FOMO is kicking in though with this blanket you are working on. Yeah, I really thought you were going to jump in, Dolores. I'm feeling deserted and left high and dry. No, I'm not. It's fine. Um, uh, I just put a half knit cardigan in the frog pond to deal with later, casting on a ribbed hat and some of my hand spun to feel better about my knitting ability. Oh my gosh. Uh, yeah, I know those feelings. Uh, I have a day off, so taking some time to get some rows done. That is awesome. I'm taking a short break from weaving and knitting up a beanie to test out a new yarn base that I dyed. It's an eight-ply eight merino hemp blend. That sounds awesome. All right, guys. Now, I am going to count. So if you are counting, make sure you mute me, okay? Because I don't want to stuff up anyone else's counts. But I need to make sure that mine is right before I start on the next row, okay? Because I don't trust my own, I don't trust myself at all. And see, look, that does not look like 10. But that's okay because it's not supposed to. That's right. That's cool. That's cool.
John O'Brien, you're a naughty boy. 110 is where I'm up to. Up to one fifty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, six, one, two, I'm over 10 off. Like that's, I think it's wrong. <laughs> 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. <laughs> I'm 22. 22, so I wanted 207. I've got 222. What the heck? I'm going to go the other way because these markers should be in the right place. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, no, they won't be because I added extras on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty. Oh, that is right, so it's twenty. No, there's three extras. Okay. I mean, for a start. I don't even know. I don't even know what to say. <laughs> All right. Um, I'm going to put in an extra repeat. Because I feel like I've done something wrong. I feel like I have to count again. I'm sorry, guys. I really feel like I have to count again. Because it's just so far out. It just feels wrong. One and ten. One, two, three, four, five. I'm going to grab some more stitch markers and do them on the other side. All right. I'm sorry. Grab a drink, everybody. Let's go again. I should have used stitch markers to start with. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty. I know, you're all judging me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty. I put it on the twentieth, not the one after. To answer your question, John. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine, twenty. I don't have any idea of why I have so many. I could have just straight up miscounted. Any, any questions asked while I'm counting is answered with louder counting. Yeah, I do that. I do that. Two, three, four, five, six, 
second day of my degree. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty. There's one open there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one, two. Okay, all right. That that feels more like what I was expecting to be at the end to knock one or two stitches off, not not twenty two. So let me just oh shoot, let me just make sure I've got this the right way. So I'm counting the right stitch markers. I want to carry the top stitch markers count the top stitch markers I should say okay 20 40 60 80 100 20 40 60 80 200 so glad I recounted okay so I needed so 200 gets me my repeat 208 gets me the next repeat 200 and so so that's 200 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 1 2 all right okay i think i kind of know what i've done here so i'm just going to scooch that up all right i'm going with this Okay, I do. I think I've screwed it up. I think I've math. I mean, I've got the right, I've got the correct number of stitches, but I don't think I was thinking about the stitches in the right way. So I'm just going to, I've got what I need. I've got 200 and 208 plus two extras, which gives me 210, which is 25 repeat, uh, 26 repeats plus an extra two on the side so fingers are crossed that it's right we'll soon find out we'll soon find out um uh where are we we've all been there with my hearing at the moment i just don't answer him and he thinks i don't hear him and he gets frustrated that's kind of funny um my husband tries to talk to me when I'm wearing noise cancelling headphones and I legit can't hear him because I have good quality noise cancelling headphones. So unless he walks closer to me and doesn't try talking to me from another room in the house, that's also my favourite one. It's like he'll talk to me from the kitchen, standard talking voice, and it'll be just like, hey, and I'm like, what? And it's like, I've been talking to you and I'm like, I didn't even hear you. You'll have to say it all again. Oh, man, I'm not going to bother. And you're like, righto. Have fun with that. Okay. We have done that. Starting with our main colour. This is our main colour. At least it's... Oh, hello, spare stitch marker. I'll put you away so I don't lose you or drop you on the floor so the dog eats you. Louis has a thing for plastic stitch markers, it turns out. It's like, I do not. Don't tell everybody. He's snoozing on the floor. Okay. Uh, we Oh, that's right. We cut off the yarn. We do not turn. I was thinking, do I turn this? But the answer is no. Hang on a second. Starting with the main colour... I'm just I'm just double checking the instructions before I cut the yarn. Um, starting with the main colour, work your front post, uh, your uh, foundation single crochets, or make your chain. Cut your yarn and finish off. Do not turn. This project is a do not turn project. Okay, so we did not get through all the yarn bar, but we got through a goodly amount of it. 
Okay, guys. We're up to a dice roll time. Oops, don't turn it, Chantel. It's dice roll time. So, you know, get ready. Hold your hats. It's dice roll, dice roll. time. Roll the dice. I may have had a bit too much fun with that. Okay, so you need to click the link that is pinned in the description to go and vote. Oh no, what am I saying? I've got to roll the dice first. I'm getting too excited. I'm getting too excited by too many different things. So let's roll the dice. We only vote if there's an eight. We get a seven. Um, a seven for us is duckling. Yeah, Jody, you're right, and I've screwed it up, and I didn't want to pull back that many. So I'm doing um, my, so, yes, is technically right. I will find out. <laughs> I will find out, okay? I'm, I've only worked this pattern once. It's not my design, and I'm, I'm trying it again. So we have duckling, so number seven. Alrighty, I'm going to try and work from them from behind me. Jody, yeah, welcome to Fiberific, where we fly by the seat of our pants and all the things. All right, uh, join with a single crochet into the back loop only. Now, I do need to remember that I will be making sure I um, add extras. So that's one single crochet before I start counting. And then into the next four. Wait a second. Oh, no, all the way across. All the, the sound. Oh, there's. The. Oh, the dancing needs to be louder. Okay. Oh, I don't want to blow people's ears off with it. All right. Like, okay. <laughs> you should have seen me. I was testing it and testing it and testing it. Like, oh, is that too loud? Is that too loud? What if someone's got headphones on? Is that too loud for them? It's not too loud for me, especially, you know, if it's a shock. Um, okay, so we are back looping all the way across. So with our contrast color, then after this, we will do our first row. <laughs> Good job, John. Well done. Um, Oh my gosh. I'm like, did I say something about blowing people's pants off? Because, like, if I did, I, I've earned this from John. Thank you, John. So what we need for this pattern is our chain, our chain stitches of multiples of eight plus, because I did the single crochet um, in the chain, so plus and then I added two I did do my extra stitch at the start yes but because this is an all single crochet row we're probably not going to be able to tell um, until we do the next row how far in do we have to tell before I've worked, before I stuffed up the repeats um, yeah so yes but I mean you know we're all probably working different lengths I'm hoping I'm hoping no one's doing the exact same width as mine just you know just because. Dude, we're going to get through the yarn bar from the yellow, I think. And then that will make it so much easier for future rows. Um, I'll, often, ugh, I'll try again. I often listen to audible podcasts uh, in AirPods and do other stuff around the house. Husband will then start a conversation not realizing I'm not listening. Yeah, they do that sometimes, don't they? And not even just husbands, but just other people in the house. They just don't realize you're not in, you, you know, you're focusing on something else. Um, <laughs> I'm flying by the seat of my shiny basketball <laughs> shorts. Okay, excellent. Glad to hear that you're flying by the seat of something. Um, but yeah, I like this pink and this yellow together. That's looking good. But yes, I'm hoping to have had enough stitches, Leanne, to have the correct number for repeats 
but there's still the possibility I can go in and remove some oh I can't I can't because I've can I yeah technically I should be able to remove stitches from the end because it, just because we because of the nature of how this one works because we cut the yarn so I should be able to get to the end and work it out because of the magic that is mosaic crochet who thought that I would start another major mosaic crochet pattern so soon after doing the queen I'm guilty of it too so it's not just them boys and the kids true true three-pointer for John <laughs> go Jody. okay I've got yarn buff on the floor behind me. Basically, the skeins that are in the um, in the shelf behind me, I'm just using their tails all the way across the room. All the way across the room makes it sound like this is a really huge space. It's not. Like, I can touch the skeins while sitting here and not even turning my back. Like, oh, or maybe I can't. Oh, yeah, look, I can touch the purple. You guys can't see it. Um, my shoulder currently is like, hey, hey, just don't forget that yesterday you were at the exercise physiologist and he made you do a lot of stuff with your arms and we currently hate you right now. All of us. All the muscles. From all the muscles in your arms. Uh, my husband has Bluetooth function in his hearing aid so he'll be watching, listening to something and I'll be trying to talk to him and he's not realising he's not even listening. So he's literally not tuned in. That's kind of funny. That is kind of funny. Alrighty, so after we finish this row we go back to our main row pink to do our first row of the actual bricking. Um, There's probably a real name for that. But this pattern is super awesome. Once you get it set up, it's one of those patterns that is just awesome to sit and watch TV. Now in saying that, I will be doing mine all live here on YouTube. I will not be running ahead um, to... Um, or anything like that so um, you will catch all the dice rolls I just want to try and make sure I get like this first row is this first set setup section will always take a bit longer just because we're counting we're double checking everything's right so going ahead we should be able to get a, quite a few rows in we were always able to get three ish rows three to four rows of the Queen in and that was that was enormous. That was a queen size blanket. This is a single set, single bed size blanket. Like, and that was an oversized queen size blanket. Like it flips down halfway down the side of the bed to the floor when it's on my queen size. Um, are you planning to use different dice each time you roll? Um, I need eight sided dice for this project because I do have the eight colors. So for right now, I am going to continue on. Although I have more eight-sided dice if you would like me to dig out another one so we can have a play with a few different colours. But I will be using eight-sided dice um, so that we can have our eight colours. Hello, Vanfear. Welcome to the chat. Good to see you. Also, because I have moved everything, let me know if I pull my hands out of shot, things like that. Um... Because I, I, I legitimately pulled my desk apart and had to put and put it back together to put some new technology in. So I now have a better teleprompter for when I'm doing podcast recordings and Zoom calls and and you know live streams with guests and things like that. Um I only needed one different in that question. I'm are you planning to use a different dice each time you roll? Only needed one different I'm not quite sure I understand um John yeah yeah it, mine was um I think once the borders went on the queen came out to be 2.4 meters no not 2.4 2.3 meters wide um oh Francis no um it, it will do, it, it'll have 
So we, we do these these rows here, these white rows, were just single crochets all the way across, the same with the reds. The main colour comes over and covers the front, if that makes sense. But I'm not doing like little squares of different colours. I'm doing it as one big project. I don't know if that answers your question. Christina, I'm really confused. So if you could re-clarify your question, um, that would be awesome. My brain is a little not happy with me due to um, A, exercise physiologist yesterday, and B, not a good night's sleep. It was quite warm here. So me plus pain and, and heat equals night terrors. So I did not have a good night. Um, oh, yeah, good point. Uh, sorry. Thank you, Christina. Excellent. Um, I meant other eight sided ones. I do. I have, I have four in total. Um, I just, this is the best one on the camera. I think the rest of them are a bit, um, oh, that one's, that one's good. Uh, that one's already out. This one here is really not good on camera. It's pale on pale. You can't really see the numbers. And then I've got, where is he? What did I do with it? Oh, there he is. And then I've got my original. So this one I won't use just because it's too pale for this job. I'll use it for plenty of other things, just not this things. Okay. So does that does that make more sense, Christina? And he's right. Technically, there can be bias between dice, for sure. I'll keep going because we are so near the end. We are near the end. Um, and then we get to start our first row of the, the pattern. I want to say pattern. I don't know if it's pattern. Um... Because it's just a two-row repeat. Well, it's a it's a four-row repeat, technically speaking. Because you... Uh, Freaky says, had to stop spinning to put drops in my eye. I'll be glad when this month is done. I understand that. There are days. There are days. I did do some test rolling with these dice. And um, they all brought up different numbers every time I rolled them, which was nice to have that confirmed because they are handmade dice. Like someone has made these out of resin. Uh, this one's commercial made, the rest are handmade. Um, and so there's always the possibility of, you know, an air bubble or something. Um, and so, yeah, just um, it, it's definitely the possibility of an imperfection in the dice, which can cause it to, land in on one number more often than others for sure um my question was just are you playing fuse different yeah i am yes is the answer okay we are there okay we're going back to our main color oops so back to this color Oh, we did. We got through all the yarn bath. We're just a straight string from the sweet eyes bag. Okay, that's handy. Uh, all right. Now let me just. I do just want to just you know sort this this pink yarn bath before I connect it back on. Because you know we don't want another repeat of that. As the blanket gets bigger, it'll get harder to deal with. Okay, it's spaghetti, but it's not knotted up, or at least I didn't think it was. Okay, instructions for this section are join the main color at the beginning of the round, row, not around. Okay. And I'm doing a single crochet at the start because even though the pattern doesn't specify it, I want one at the start of every every round. Oh, he's, he's good, Christina. He's good value. He made very valid point. Okay. Um, 
So we want to single crochet across four. The instructions say three, but we want to, we, we don't count this one, whereas they count this one. So we want to add four. So I'm actually just going to write that here just so that I remember. Because everything's in multiples of four now. Two, three, and four. And then we drop down to the row underneath it. So we don't we want to make sure we drop down to the correct spot. Now, if you need instructions, Claire has a YouTube video, step by step, really clear video on how to make this. It's so if you want to, because this is not a tutorial video, if you want to have really clear step by step instructions, go and hit up Claire's video. Um, but if you just need like the you know the rough working speed version then that's what i'm here for nerds rock i agree john um this is a legit safe place for nerds so um so are you there you're there one two three four so have see how that's blocking things like getting all blocky now Loving it. And as you get further into it, it'll be easier to work out where your blocks are supposed to be because you can look at your previous blocks. But as this is the first one, we have to make sure we get all our stitches into the right spots. And go from there. Um, I'm not quite sure. Claire's video was awesome. Claire's video it was phenomenal, and it's her pattern. And you know, like I'm not trying to do a um, tutorial here. We're just trying to have fun making a blanket with, you know, some random number generating math rocking. Um, oops, I've already done four. So, yep. So if you do need better instructions on how to do the blanket, make sure you go and check out Claire's. The only real difference that I was aiming for was making sure I had a, an extra single crochet at the beginning and at the end. And I want a single crochet row at the very end to work the edge into. They're the only differences I was trying to make. Um... But because I had to do Mathingtons and me and maths are not friends, then, you know, it made it harder. So go and watch Claire's video. She makes it not harder. So, yeah. And I highly recommend doing a little, you know, tester for yourself. I, I made mine out of cotton. It has a t purpose. It fits perfectly on the arm of my couch. And I rest coffee cups on it so that I don't feel I don't need to have a hard coffee mug like coaster there anymore that constantly got knocked off. Um, now this sits there and it holds itself on and and it was scoffed at by the family at first, but now they all love it. Thank you, Leanne, for popping Claire's link in for Crochet with Claire. So you can go in there and look for her mosaic blanket. It's one of her more recent videos. Um, so you should be able to find it pretty easily. I just need to have a little sip of water. This is sitting, this, oh, seriously, the squish, the squish factor. Mm. Definitely needed a beverage, you know. It's cold now though. It's no longer hot water and lemon, uh, hot water and honey. It's now cold water and honey. So, you know, on a side note, I'm trying to keep us cool here because we're having a heat wave and it's kind of not awesome. Um, so, yeah, it is. It's supposed to be hitting 37 degrees here today. Um, and this morning it was... 
at at seven o'clock it was I just want to double check one two three four at seven o'clock this morning it was already 25 feels like 30 so if we've got a feels like the that adds in like you know humidity and and things like that so if it's supposed to be 37 it's going to feel like like 42 so oh did you let me have a look here we need some more thumbs up it's not very balanced is it we've got 28 thumbs ups and 40 people watching um so it's obviously people here don't don't like what we do that's how i take that um oh absolutely john we will be tracking the dice rolls um i'll be putting in time codes for those people that want to come in during um like for the replays and things like that so they can skip straight to the dice rolls um so they can get to those um but yeah but which reminds me i need to write down the first one but we are going to alternate the dice for the very very wise input from christina's partner husband whoever that voice was that asked the question um I, I, yeah, I agree, it's been Girls. I'm very, very ready for Mother Nature to get with the program that it's autumn and it's supposed to be cooling down. Um, uh, for those of you that aren't aware, we're in, we're, I'm in Australia. I'm in Queensland, which is subtropical. Uh, currently, it's more tropical than subtropical, and I'm not enjoying it at all. Gail now, welcome to the chat. So good to see you in here. Um... Freaky says that he's the same, but he would like some warmer weather. Freaky, if I could send you, say, 15 degrees of Celsius degrees, I don't know what that is, it, I, I would, in a heartbeat, I would shoot it straight to Canada. Um, I've got other friends in Canada who are having the same problem. I would happily, happily make it slightly warmer for you. But I can't. And I just have to deal with, you know this ridiculous heat and crochet a blanket let's go subtropical in um in the heat and crochet a blanket we can just have a quick look temperature check i'll just grab my phone and have a quick squeeze and squeeze it is currently um 11 18 in the morning it is 31.9, feels like 35.2. Um, yeah. Yay. That's <laughs> all I'm concerned. That's, that's, that's yay. And there's people like, oh my God, I love the heat. The heat is amazing. You can go and die in a hole, honestly. No. No. I like not being like frostbitten and frozen cold and stuff like that. I also like to be able to walk outside for more than four minutes before I get heat, heat stroke. So, yeah. Francis says, we are heading for 35 here today. Glad my work this afternoon has aircon. Yeah, I've got the aircon on here in the house. Um, and usually we try to keep it to 24 degrees um so that it's you know efficient for energy today's going to be so hot i've pumped that up to 25 um because um i don't want the air conditioners to you know blow up trying to drop that temperature and deal with all that humidity so and even then it still feels amazingly cool when you're outside then step inside um kelly has a blue a face blue smiling. Let me look. Because that's what, that's what comes up. But I just want to check. Um, oh, I see. I see what you've got. Yep. That is, I love those ones. But yeah, they don't translate across. That's so funny. But the Super Chat members chats do, which is awesome. So if, you're a, if you are a uh, member you can when you do your free super chat in this different software that, that i'm using that i usually use i can actually bring your members comments on screen which is so cool 
Um, Francis has news. Francis has news. Oh my gosh. Francis, mum entered my spinning into the Tamworth show and I won. <laughs> the only entries were mum and myself though. <laughs> so you beat your mum is what you're saying. So, yeah. I mean, how does your mum feel about that? I'll enter you into this show and we'll see how we go. Oh, you, you beat me. Yeah, Alice, uh, who was it? Friday ketchup, definitely not a dry heat. It's like walking through soup. Yes, we have the heat plus, I didn't see it, but it's feeling like it's about 70 to 80% humidity. So that's also not my on my list of favorites. Not my favorite. So I'll just go and live in the subtropics where it's humid and then complain about the humidity. That sounds like a good way to live my life. <laughs> oh my gosh, I split the yarn. Hang on, here we go. One, two, three, four. I can't count. Molly, where are you to have a cool summer? We had, look, our summer was probably a bit cooler than usual. We had a couple of hot days, but the actual summer itself was fine. But it's autumn now. It's supposed to be cooling down. The memo needs to go out. It's autumn. Stop it. Um, oh, she kept the prize. <laughs> I love that. I love that so much that she kept the prize. I just realized something. I've got, I've just got to. Hang on. There we go. Yeah, keeping the prize. I don't know how I feel about that. We are coming up to the end of the row. So we're going to be doing another dice roll soon. So we'll be able to test out the new level of audio. So those of you that said it was too quiet, be prepared. I pumped the volume up. So now it probably is too loud and I'll need to find the happy medium. Um, minus one degree for Freaky. <gasps> freaky. If I could send you 15, I would send you 15 in a heartbeat. My mum wants to be a, a reverse bear and hibernate all winter. Yeah, I'd like to be a reverse bear. I'd actually love, you know, those people that like just, you know, like they spend summers in one country and winters in another and they follow the sun. I would be the person who would be like, okay, I'm off to somewhere colder for, for Australian summers. Like I'd leave Australia for summer rather than come to Australia. So I'd, I'd winter in Australia and then go somewhere else when it's an Australian summer. I don't know where I go because I don't want it to be like bitterly cold, but I do want it to be not as horrendous. Oh, we're getting back to the middle of the ball again, but you know, I mean, that's positive. That means that we've used up all the stuff that I used in the samples, but it's still not, it's not perfect in there yet. I may have shoved something back in. Um, go molly's in adelaide oh there you go <laughs> 14 hours later i was in adelaide flipping through wantad sipping fosters in the shade well as a, no australian drinks fosters um we'd have to find some other beer but i see your point we export all the Fosters. None of the Fosters stays here. Um, oh, come on, eight. Yeah, I want an eight just so I can play with some of the stuff that I set up. So, yeah. But I understand if we don't get to an eight today. But we've gotten through more than I thought we would. So I am also happy at the same time. Now, if we do get to the end of this row and realize I have totally scarfed it, um, I will fix that before next week. I won't try, I won't take up the time in the live stream to fix up my bad mathing. Ma 
Okay, so I just wanted to, like, because we're nearly there, so I just want to double check. We started with, we started with single crochets. So I'm just double checking the one that I did right. So when we start with singles, we finish with singles. So one, two, three, four, and then the extra. Okay, that's it. That's what we're doing. So what I'm going to do is bring back this row so that I know what I've done here. And then I can fix those up off camera. So we are, I had one, two, three, four, five rows, five stitches too many somehow in the, in in all that five stitches to me but the next row will be right so we are on to it's dice roll time are you ready for dice roll time it's dice roll time there you go it's dice roll. is that loud enough for you is that loud enough is that too loud you have to tell me because i have no idea Okay. All right, let's get this out of the way. We used that dice last time, so let's use the green dice this time. Uh, oh, also, no yarn bath on the main colour. That'll make life easier. Dice roll time. We got a six. I'll move that so it's less glary. There you go. We got a six. So the six is this green, the amphibian. That's kind of appropriate. The green dice gives us the green. So it wasn't too loud. It could be louder. I'm in headphones. Okay, cool. Awesome. Hang on. Dice roll time. I'm going to increase the volume, right? And you guys tell me. I'm going to press the button again, okay? Are you ready? Those of you in headphones... Be warned, I'm pressing the audio, the thing again. It's dice roll, dice roll. Dice roll. time. Roll the dice to choose the next colour. How was that? Your video is lagging way behind the chat. So clear that. No, clear that. It was fine for my headphones. Okay. Perfect. All right. I'll, I'll try not to touch anything. Much better. Okay. Good. All righty. But we already rolled the dice. We've got our six. We're onto this. Now, we're going to start our row with a single crochet. And I'm going to keep saying it to myself to remind myself that that's what I'm doing. Oh, my gosh. How good does this green look against this pink? It looks so good. It looks so good. Oh, hey, Mel. Good to see you in the chat. Had headphones on and it was good. Oh, that's awesome. Okay. Now, we're doing the opposite this time. So we do our... Oh, no. We're doing our single crochet all the way across. I've got to remind myself that the pink is the contrast color. It's not a... It's a so the pink is a main color, not a contrast color. Um... I am noting the time. Thank you, Leanne. It is, we have half an hour left to go. I appreciate that. Too loud. Just kidding. Oh, thanks for that. <laughs> I'm not at all paranoid about blowing people's eardrums because uh, I want it to be, you know, noticeable, but I also don't want it to be deafening. Molly could hear it. Excellent. I just didn't want it to be too loud. I, I had it set right down. And what I hear on my end is a different volume length than what you guys hear, it turns out. So we've got this green bath to get through. But the green wasn't so bad compared to some of the others. Like um, the, the rooster, the orange, I'm really not looking forward to my first go with that because it's just going to be a mess.
but these colors all work together so nicely i'm so happy with the color choice and i'm so glad that i went with the pink as the main color the flamingo i was so worried that it wasn't going to work and i decided to do it live on the internet oh yeah i'm worried it's not going to work but you know Color, oh, sorry, thank you, yes. Colour 6, Amphibian, is what we're working on. Thank you for the reminder. Um, if you roll the same number next time, are you going to repeat the colour? Yes, I am. In the real world, being random sometimes means groupings. So it, we, could, we could totally end up with three or four stripes of the same colour. I hope not. But it could happen and whatever is rolled or voted upon, they're the colours I'm using. I'm not going to adjust, even though my brain's going to be all like, oh, it'll be fine. Just adjust it. Just change it. Nope. There's none of that. We are, the dice are telling me the colours or the vote if we get to an eight. So if we roll an eight, you guys get to vote. So today we've had two dice rolls. So hopefully next week we could get to three. I don't know. I mean, I can be a quick crocheter, but I don't know if I can be quick enough to get us through this row, the next pink row, and then on to the next vote. I would love to say that that's what I can do. And maybe sitting on the couch, I possibly could. But in here, under lights and cameras, possibly not. Um... Oh, Leanne, it's all good. I'm actually going to scrub through the videos and find the actual timestamps and put the actual timestamps into the into the description so that the dice rolls are there. I vote for the colour you don't have. Well, you don't get to vote for the colour I don't have because I've got a pre-made poll there that just your choices are only the colours that I do have. So no. Nerdy no no. Uh, months later, still waiting for an eight. Don't even joke about that, Francis. I made some pretty cool graphics and, and some stuff for the for the eight. Well, at least I think they're cool graphics. You guys might think they're a bit lame. Um, so I really want it to be used at least more than once. Yeah, freaky. I agree with you. Don't jinx it, Francis. Now, everybody knows if we don't get an eight, it's all Francis's fault. I'm still waiting on my dice, so started with one row of each colour. Okay. That's a good way to go. Another option would be to grab, like if you've got some standard six-sided dice, is you can roll, and as long as it's under your eight, um, you could use those numbers. And if it's over an eight, that's a re-roll until you get under eight again. Otherwise, I'd be tempted to change it up all the time. That's why I'm like, I will do what the dice says. I will do what the dice says. It's more of a reminder to myself. Um, was just looking for dice on Amazon, seeing some for under 10 bucks. Yeah, I got, I got one of these sets here for eight Australian dollars. Like, you, if you look around, you can get, like, I got mine from Etsy, um, but these um, random packs of dice that I picked up, they were $8 Australian um, for a set of seven dice. So they're really awesome value. Um, they were random, so I didn't get to choose anything, but I didn't mind that either because I, like, I couldn't choose. Like I was going to buy one of their more expensive sets, but I couldn't decide. Oh, there's no dice in your house. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. So what do you guys all think of this? Like, I mean, I'm hi hyper excited about it, but I'm also a bit of a strange ranger. So what do you all think about it? Do you like this idea? Um, does this concept seem fun to you? 
Once I'm all set up, I'll be able to interact with the chat better. Um, oh, J John has another option for you there, Sandy. You can use a, a virtual dice. Use a D8. Type in roll a D8. Because, like, if, if I was you and I did the, you know, one of each colour to start with, I'd have to end with one of each colour as well because I'm weird like that. Um, so, yeah. Did you, um, where did you get your dice from, Sandy? And did you go for, the, like, you know, like, if you got it from Natural 20, did you go for a random pack or did you choose something? We are nearly at the end of the row, but we are not quite at the end of the yarn path. Well, actually, it was probably not as close to the end of the row as I thought. Now, this yarn has got a very gentle twist, so I've just, I really do need to make sure I'm not splitting it with my hook. I'm not sure if it's the hook or the yarn that's doing it. It's not very often. It's not enough for me to be, like, pulling my hair out or anything like that, but... It's just very softly twisted. Lots and lots and lots of ends. I think it's got five ends or six ends to ply this yarn together. It's so squishy. I'm going to keep telling you how squishy it is because especially these sections here, it's like a, hang on, it's like a medium rare steak. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I just said that. But that's how it feels. Because like you guys know, like how you like you work out the stake based on your thumb. So if you hold it back, that's a well done. And if you hold it here, that's a rare. And you can work it out based on that, depending on where your finger is. Um, oh, I used a link and I got a random and a metal pack. Oh, I was so tempted by the metal packs. I cannot wait to see photos in the fun zone when they arrive, Sandy. I cannot wait. Have they shipped yet? Because I thought you ordered last week. Mine came really fast. But I did just order random packs, so they probably had those all ready to go. Oh, we're nearly, we are, look, we're close to the end again. steak yeah i know i'm trying not to i'm like what am i gonna have for lunch today it's not gonna be steak it's gonna be something lame because i'm going out for dinner so i can't have a fancy lunch and a fancy dinner it'll probably be like a sandwich and let's not talk about food yet because i'm hungry i didn't have enough breakfast <laughs> i don't like cooking steak at home I like ordering steak from a good steakhouse because I'm not awesome at cooking steak. Oh, really? Are we really? Go I think we may do it. We might get rid of the majority of this yarn bath. Wouldn't that be nice if the first row of each color got rid of the yarn baths? That would be so awesome. It'd make me feel so much better about the pile of yarn over behind me. Oh, but, okay, it has been shipped, but it's taking a while because you're rural. I understand. I understand. Um, I've been using metal dice for D&D for so long. I switched to acrylic last week, and they are so, so light. Yeah, one of the dice that I got in my pack, where is it? Here it is. This one's a metal one, and it's so much heavier. I really like it. I think I would get metal dice. I didn't think I would be a, a metal dice person, but it turns out I could be a metal dice dice person. Um, yeah, Bianca, it's too expensive to do badly. <laughs> That's how I see it. Okay. Trim. And then on to our main colour for our next row of we did look. I mean, there was a little bit left, but it wasn't very barfy. I'm 
Okay, back to the main colour, which all two is no longer yarn buff. Haven't made it in a few weeks from Sue Singleton. It's good to see you, Sue. Welcome to the chat. Okay, back to the other end. All the way to the bottom of the jar. All right, now we are doing the alternate brick. So single crochet to start with. I know, it's to remind me, not you. And then into the pattern. How good is this green going to look with the pink over it? So good. So good. Oh yeah, I'm very happy. Whoops, back loops only. Oops. I'm getting ahead of myself here. I'll try to go down one row too many. we go. Don't split the yarn. Don't split the yarn. Um, my metal die started rolling really weird and I didn't want to kill my kids so I switched. I don't understand. Oh, okay. The kids had been using them. I don't, I don't understand. I'm confused. Sorry, John. I'm confused. The kids were using your metal dice when you didn't want them to be. Um, Ruth's just going to do a mug rug for now. Absolutely. I think a mug rug is a great place. If you don't need a blanket, don't make a blanket. Like, make a mug rug. Make something else. When I'm swatching and testing things, mug rugs and face washes and things like that are my go-tos. Because you don't want to commit to, like, a huge project if you're not happy. Or you're, or you're not sure you're going to be happy. Do your little mug rug. Do your little face washer swatch. And go from there. Like, I'm so glad that I decided to make this mug rug for a live stream because this project probably wouldn't have happened if I hadn't have gotten. I did because I enjoyed working on it so much. It was sad when it was over, and that's kind of I was like, oh, you know, I wish there was a way. And like our discussions with alternating the reds and, you know, that that's what's prompted all of this is our discussions and, you know, just trying something so I'm pretty pretty happy um oh I, he didn't want to wipe out the kids characters oh okay and then as you like as I said you know now that I'm working in the alternates I'll just move that out of the way um it's it's faster and easier to find the right spots to work into you still got to keep a little eye on it, but it's definitely easier. So now it's the point where I would be happy to sit and watch TV doing this. Um, to go through and, you know, um, it's just one of those ones. Like the mosaics I normally find are brain heavy. So I don't tend to do those in the on the comfort of the couch or, or watching TV or something like that. I tend to sit up and focus. Whereas this one just seems to be cruisy it's a cruisy cruise and these colors I'm just so chuffed with these colors Louis just asleep on the floor down here in front of the fan because this room has no air conditioner so we, we keep the um, equipment cool by pumping like the air conditioner nearest us. So it's Abby's bedroom air conditioner. It's down on 21 degrees and there's a fan sucking that air out of her doorway and pushing it into here because otherwise the camera will overheat and the computers overheat. Um, they do. They pop so nicely. I'm like, what colors next? I'm so chuffed. I'm like, oh my God, what are we doing next? I'm actually excited for the next dice roll, you guys. I'm like, I really want to get to the end of this row so that at least can start the next color. I don't think we'll get it done, but I'd like to at least get it started. They are looking amazing. And this yarn is a delight to work with. Um, I, I'm always dubious. Like I love how things feel in a ball and it's not until I actually work with it that I'm like, okay, 
all right this thing's a winner i'm pretty happy with this and this particular yarn this maker yarn is um anti-pill as well so i'm really hoping it ages well but we won't know until we use it and wash it and you know do the thing that ages the yarn so um this is my first project with it loving the colors loving how it works up definitely loving the squish definitely looking cute and I'll grab a photo because I'm not sure how well this webcam's getting these colors they're pretty intense for it um, so it could be distorting them a little so I'll make sure I grab a photo and put it over in the fun zone and on Instagram as well so that we can have a look at how it looks not through the lens of a little webcam because it's very bright. It's very bright. I'm like racing. I'm trying to get there. I'm trying so hard to get there. I had someone message me asking if like I did a, a reel of me crocheting the edge onto um, the blanket for my dad. Like, oh, how many, you know, what speed did you put this to? And I'm like, what do you mean? They're like, well, no one crochets that fast. And I'm like, yeah, they do. And faster. I'm not the fastest crocheter I know. And they're like, no, you absolutely had to speed that up. I'm like, no, I absolutely didn't. Um, the main color looks orangey on your phone. Yeah, it's looking a little orangey to me. It is not orangey. I'm just going to just try one thing. I, I don't want to go too deep into the settings here. Um, but I'm just going to try and see what happens. Um, let me just try something else. B. I'm just trying to reduce some brightness is what I'm trying to do um, but it's not really letting me so I'm not quite sure why it's not letting me okay so let's try that all right so we're on the right camera now let's see if I can No, it's definitely picking it up as the wrong colour. Yeah, I can't, um, I can't change it, which is, I mean, it's pinker there, but everything else is wrong. <laughs> I'll have a play with that, but yeah, it's definitely coming up as orange. It is not orange. It is this pink so but these colors are also exceptionally bright and um you know my equipment is not used to deal i've been working with a lot of pastels lately and i had everything set for pastels and while i was adapting and changing everything i didn't think to adapt and change for this oh yeah it's orangey red for you guys okay yeah, because what I'm looking at is orangey red as well, and it's just not right. I'll have to see what I can do to fix up the colors. Because, like, while orangey would be nice, it's not orange. I'm really, I'm like, why can't I fix this? So, reset. No, it's definitely not letting me fix the color. There's uh, my other soft, uh, my other like old stuff. It would let me fix colors, but it doesn't let me fix colors here, which is horrible. Anyway, I don't want to play that. Oh, 
Oh, good point. If I try a less colourful background. Let's... Do I have something handy I can just slide under? I have a notepad. No. It doesn't fix it. But that's alright. I'll play with it through the week. We'll see what we can get sorted for next week. In the meantime, I'll make sure there's photos up where you guys can check it out. And you can be like, oh my god, that's totally different. It's totally different. Um, time to go. Have a great week. Husband just brought home some crusty bread. Oh my gosh. That sounds amazing. Absolutely. You'll need to check in the fun zone for the, for the actual true colours. You, I think you're going to be shocked. Um... I really think you're going to be really surprised by the difference because this is not orange. This is a beautiful hot pink. I actually think my webcam might be dying. It's, it's had pretty hard use for a long time. And I've noticed there's a spot that doesn't focus anymore. And, you know, some of these sorts of things. So I'm like, okay, not awesome. We'll see what we can, we'll see what we can do. With what we've got oh wait i have another webcam can i plug that in oh i don't have to, i won't do it today i've got a second webcam and it's it's older but it's different and i was going to use it for the dice roll cam but then i did not hang on a second i'm gonna uh, give me one minute i'm gonna see what i can do Functioning legs. Alrighty. Nope. It still shows the wrong colours. It's a totally different webcam. And I also don't know why it changed to that. <laughs> I did not choose it. So yeah, and that's still showing the totally the wrong colours. And I don't know why it's chosen this camera. It's not letting me choose back. There we go. Oh, stop that. Um, I'm going to have to unplug it to make it stop being naughty. There we go. <laughs> Just unplug it. But yeah, no, it made no difference. It could look better in your main camera. Yeah, okay, I can do that. We can definitely do that. What is going on? It's changed all my camera settings. Is something resting on something? Oh, it was. Okay. I understand now. All right. That's still not coping. That's definitely not coping with how pink the pink is. Maybe it's the pink. It's just crazy. The pink is very pink. <laughs> oh my gosh. It is very pink. Um, yeah. Yeah, there was something leaning on my keyboard, which was pressing all the buttons. So now I know what was going wrong. But I'm going to have to have a play because it's definitely not as, you know. Galara is a lighter pink. Oh, it's a heaps lighter. Heaps lighter. Um, tons lighter. trying to get to the end and I got sidetracked by tech like that never happens oh it's showing pink on your screen okay that's cool 
glad to hear that. <laughs> it's showing pink somewhere, everybody. Go to Sally's house. We can see the pink over there. But yeah, I'll grab a photo on my phone and we'll see what we can what we can swing. Oh, speaking of oops, math rocks, colour rolls. Let's get rid of the amphibian. And we've got to go back to the main colour. Oops. I split the stitch. Try again. I don't know if we're going to make it to the next roll. Unless you guys are, are willing to hang out for an extra minute or two until we get to an additional roll. I think we can do it. No pressure, Chantelle. Yeah, this old this this break Brio is a good few years old and it gets a good hammering use. Um, I'm gonna have to have a play with it and see what's going on. There should be a way that I can adjust the colours and and all that sort of stuff and make it more realistic. Because what's awkward is my arms like that's a realistic colour of my hands and arms, but it's just not a realistic colour of the yarn. You're in. Sue's catching up. Go, Sue. You've got this. And those that are coming to Caffeinated Crafters, I'll bring this bit of blanket too. Because the advantage with these mosaics, especially when they're little, you don't have to cart all the yarn with you. So I can just bring what we've worked on today. Yeah, the pink on my face is different. Yeah. Yeah. Very different cameras. Very different cameras. One's a full DSLR mirrorless and the other's a, a little webcam. I mean, it's a 4K webcam. It's a good webcam, but it's still a webcam. But I'm sure it's user error, honestly. I would, I would hazard a guess that it's user error. Because <laughs> um, it's a solid webcam. They do really good stuff. We've just got to get the software behind it. I'm coming up across a, oh, there we go. Like, I'm like, I can feel something happening. There's more yarn buff in the ball. Come on, yarn buff. We're so close to the end here. have a look in the chat I'm willing from Holly as well uh, it's like the DSLR is set to a cool tone whereas the webcam is set to warm yep I'm cool that's why because I'm cool <laughs> okay Onto our last repeat. And we will, we'll get another dice roll in. And I'll also measure how much blanket we got done today, too. I did my last stitch into the wrong stitch. There we go. Don't do your stitch into the knot. Okay. Guess what? It's dice roll time. It's dice roll, dice roll, roll time. Roll, time. Roll, roll the dice to choose the next colour. Dice roll time. Okay. We're on to this one this time. 
We've got a four. Kala. The galar itself is not so bad, but some of the others around it are really bad. And they've all tangled up. So I'm just going to get it started. We won't necessarily work at all, but oh, I better write it down. We've got three dice rolls in today. Not bad considering all the time we spent on setup. So I'm pretty happy with our um, with our progress for our first day of the math blanket. So we've got three dice rolls plus setup rows plus two brick rows. So I just I want to get it across just a little bit of a repeat so we can have it for a photo. But like, yeah, when you guys see the photo of how this looks, like how it looks to me versus how it looks on camera, I think you're going to be really surprised. Because the camera shows this up really well. That's the right color. It is not coping with this pink. So there we go. Now, we'll go back up here. You guys, I've had so much fun with today and I really appreciate you all jumping in and you all being part of it. Um, I've just got to clear, hang on, I've got to work out how to get rid of that. There we go. Um, and just loving, I'm just loving all the stuff that we've been doing. Let me know in the description, in the comments below, if you're playing along at home, I'm going to add in the timestamps of our three dice rolls for today's run. Um, hopefully next week we'll get an extra dice roll to, to in. I really want to get a wild. I want to get a wild. Anyway, um, uh, oh, look, my hair's just sitting there. That's right. You can't see it. I'll make sure I get a photo of this over in the fun zone and onto Instagram. So if you're not following me on Instagram, it's at Fibrific over there. So we'll get a little photo of that. And uh, I hope you all have a fantastic weekend. Thank you so much for joining me. I know it's like, it, uh, Bianca says, see you tonight. Those that are local, Caffeinated Crafters is on tonight. So I will see you there. Have an awesome one and I'll see you all next time. Bye now.